new week, new vlog. <laughs> today is the day, well, Monday, <laughs> but today is the day that I am starting step by step the instructions in my anti-inflammatory book. So lucky you guys get to come and watch and see what happens. Ooh, so exciting. <laughs> Actually, it might be exciting for anybody who's experiencing problems like I am and have lots of inflammation in their body, or maybe they don't know they have lots of inf inflammation in their body, like I didn't until recently, and they just want to feel better, so maybe all those people will care. Because <laughs> I know I would, personally, if I could get help with this sickness. Jeez, that would be like heaven. <laughs> Why is there a hat beside me? <laughs> Okay, so, day one. This is my beef. Every time I open my tablet to go read, it goes into dark mode, which is fine and dandy and it looks better, but me, it makes my eyes, I don't know, when I read dark, it makes me feel extra super duper dizzy. So I, so every single time now, I have to go in, tap the middle, tap the letter thing, tap layout, tap page color, yeah. When I go into the app on my phone, I don't have such a problem. Is it because it's an apple? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should try redoing it, I don't know. Redoing it? Should I delete it and redo it or would that be bad? I don't know. Shiz it, it's only gonna let me record in 16 minute chunks, okay. Day one, take notes. Be increasingly Wait. <laughs> Begin increasing your awareness of what you eat. The best way to do this is by keeping a food journal. Simply note and record what, when, and how much you eat. Research shows that keeping a food journal leads to healthier eating behaviors, even without intentionally making different choices. It does not need to be fancy. You can use a notebook or... <laughs> ...to the camera instead of the page. <laughs> <laughs> or a tracking app like Lose It. I like to use my net diary, but thank you very much. <laughs> Just snapping a picture of your food with a cell phone is enough to increase awareness. Well, I already have awareness. I know that I've been eating some good foods and I've been eating some bad foods, like too much chocolate. <laughs> but I'm going to do step one today, and then tomorrow I will chime in with step two day two yeah day two not step two day two all well, each day is a step so yeah look i have like light beams in my eyes <laughs> man i'm tired <laughs> so today i have to food journal i wonder if i have to like build on each one so i have to food journal every day oh fudge i better get dust off my app <laughs> luckily i haven't eaten anything so far Hi, Ellie. Who's an Ellie? That's a bin I'm getting rid of. <laughs> Hi. Are you a good girl? Yeah, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Ellie was not super happy with me last night. She got scared. My boyfriend did some cleaning yesterday, and she got so scared for some unknown reason because of she was cleaning. Then she was freaking out, and she went somewhere she shouldn't be, so... He got the air can and went Psst, and it scared her and she ran and then she went to another spot she couldn't be so she got sprayed again and she got scared and ran and hid behind the laundry room door. Now where I come into being the evil person is a couple hours later my boyfriend asked me if there were any of his shirts in the dryer. So I opened the door to go check the dryer, and lo and behold, I totally forgot that Ellie was behind there. I pushed the door into her, and she thought I was being evil, and hissed and growled at me for the rest of the night. But I'm glad to see that Ellie's day. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl, Ellie. <laughs> Should I really do the logging in my app, where I have to do a bunch of math and trying to figure out how much is in the foods my boyfriend makes? <laughs> or I could just write it down in a notebook like they said. So I might do that because it seems like a lot more pressure on me right now. I finished my brain game though. Yay! Okay, I stayed the same, which is better than going up. <laughs> so that's good. 
but I thought we could check my horoscope. But if you think that is lame, then please tell me so in the comments and I will stop. <laughs> Aquarius weekly horoscope. I'm Aquarius. This is for the week. Sensitivity, you could find yourself. Huh? Sensitivity, you can find yourself in the beginning of the week tends to culminate by its end. Some connections will not get broken, even though you thought they are at their ending point, while others take strange turns and could easily end when you least expect them to. <laughs> Sudden turns and situations that were not anticipated come with the weekend, but you've been feeling the atmosphere changing for a while now. Life brings on its surprises and tests of character when moral imperatives are questioned, your inner guidance is needed, so you can dismiss judgments that have nothing to do with your values and your beliefs. Not everyone's opinion on your life matters. This week's affirmation, my boundaries are clear and obvious. I just hope those people respect those boundaries. And my daily one, Mars Rover, wait, yeah. Mars Rover was made with a $200,000 processor that is almost identical to the processor that was used in the original iMac. You don't see the connections between different things in your surroundings, but it is clear that there is something important developed in the background. The quality of certain choices from the past affects everything that you are now about to do in the future. Still, only the present moment carries the power of drastic change that you wish for. Well, there you go. I need to throw on the laundry first because I really, it takes forever, especially since my dryer is old and sometimes I have to have something go two, three times for it to dry, sometimes four. So yeah, I need to start doing that now. Mm -hmm. Makeup. <laughs> cat mom, cat mom, because I'm a cat mom. <laughs> Parents got it for me a bunch of Christmases ago when I had my other two cats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need a hoodie and some earphones. I have to ask you guys something. Are there any of you out there? <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally forgot. And it was important too. Sugar. Um, I remembered. Okay, I was gonna ask anybody else stand or walk incorrectly. <laughs> I found out months, some months ago, like I don't know, maybe about four or five months ago, that maybe six that I've been standing improperly. <laughs> I don't know if I can show, but see my feet. That's how I normally stand. But this is how I'm supposed to stand. Wait. All those times I was told, oh, you have weak ankles. You just have to do strengthening exercises, and strengthening exercises never worked. Then I did this one video called Tai Cheng. I never got through it because I got sick, but anyway. When he mentioned it, he said, when you're standing, he said, push your thighs apart from each other. And it's like, oh my goodness. Okay, so I knew the toes thing from yoga to have your foot rooted with your baby toe and your big toe. So I was doing that, but my ankles are still going in. But then pushing my legs out, they go out the way a normal person does. But now I have to practice as much as possible to just do that normally because it's been like 40 some odd years doing it the wrong way. I just wish instead of the doctor saying, oh, do these exercises that never worked, that he actually told me, oh, look, you're standing wrong. This is how you're supposed to stand because then this would have been fixed when I was a kid. Okay, I have decided that I'm terrible at this because every time I think of something that I wanted to say today, all of a sudden it goes as soon as I press record. <laughs> oh, floof. Hi, Ellie. I'm done my meditation. I'm done. Meow. Yeah. You're a good girl. We love you. We love you. Oh yeah, I must confess 
that I was absolutely terrible with water left. I was getting about five to six cups a day. I'm kind of upset with myself about that and I need to try harder. So I just finished my meditation, which is good. I was gonna do yoga because Ellie jumped off my lap, but then the washing machine stopped. <laughs> so I got to go and put the stuff into the dryer and then put on a fresh load because I have so much freaking laundry to do, it's not funny. I say that all the time, but it's just always true. It feels like never ending laundry. I actually did a TikTok about that, showing my laundry and singing never ending laundry <laughs> to the never ending story song. I realized that I have more than enough tea bags, so I'm going to do my tea bag thing before the tea bags dry because then I don't have the tea bag. But it can watch me plot them on my eyes. They're different tea bags this time. We went, looked for tea, got these nice tea bags at Shoppers, and then found out that Denninger's is like a tea heaven, has all different types of tea possible. Shoppers has packs of 25, they have packs of 100. <laughs> Well, that was refreshing for my eyes, but I almost fell asleep. I need to do the laundry. I need to do yoga. It's like, it's nine o'clock. I also need to make another tea. And I'm Ellie was sweet and she was lying beside me while I was doing my tea bags because she's a good girl. I think she's making up for being mean to me yesterday. Knows I didn't do it on purpose. Well, that made me shaky and emotional. <laughs> um, there was this dude that was following me on Instagram and he was messaging me. So I thought, okay, I'll message him back because people are nice enough to follow me and I they deserve the courtesy of being responded to. So I responded and he was all like, oh, I'm a doctor, so I can't really talk on Instagram that often. This is after he sent me several messages, by the way. So I'm like, okay, fine. He's like, what's your WhatsApp number? So I gave him my WhatsApp number, which is a business number because it's a business Instagram account. But people think, oh, she has, it doesn't matter that it's business. I'm just going to ask whatever I want. Some people are rude and they're all like, oh yeah, uh, and they say all these perverted things and they get blocked. <laughs> and then... This guy, he's like talking to me as if he wants to like be my friend and stuff. And then I go into my messages just now and he's all like, I don't understand what you're saying. Your English is very bad. I'm like, my English is very bad? I got A's in English, thank you very much. Yeah, I know when I'm speaking, I'm not always grammatically correct, but when I'm typing, I put more thought into it because I can read it and then go over it. Anywho, and then he's like, also here, you said, she equals hard. I don't understand. So I explained in full detail that me writing that meant I typed the word hard, but then the phone auto-corrected it to she. So I was telling you that the word she was supposed to read as hard. So I explained that in full detail and he's like, you're bad at this. Please don't ever talk to me again. I was like, fine, have a nice life. And he's like, why don't you talk to me more? Is it because your boyfriend? What's wrong with you? I'm like, block. <laughs> I told him to have a nice life. So now he can just go on and do what makes him happy. Or if it makes him happy, hopefully he doesn't go bug other people and be rude to them because that's just mean. But hopefully he has a good life. Not my concern anymore, because he was rude and mean, and when I told him that, he got worse. I think I'm a weirdo because I get so emotional, like, my I really feel my emotions. <laughs> like, that whole interaction, I'm still, like, shaking inside from it of just, like, shock from how, like, mean he was being and saying that I'm terrible, my English is terrible, never talk to me again, and then complaining that it's because I don't talk to him enough. I don't know. I think I hold on for things too long, but just <sighs> confrontations, even though I find myself in them, they don't agree with my body because my whole body is still shaking. And no, not the shaking from my sickness, but different shaking. <laughs> shaking from being upset and yeah. Oh my gosh. I just realized that I didn't listen to the Bella's podcast last week. Shoot, gotta listen to that. 
Oh my gosh, not only is there a Bella's podcast waiting for me to listen to, but there's also a special bonus uh, Bella Brains for me to listen to. I can't wait! I think I need to make a disclaimer on video in case anybody who messages me watches these videos. I do respond. I may take a while. That is because I have lots of things to do. I can't sit at my phone or my computer all day long while your messages come in, just responding the second they come in. I can't just do that. I can't even respond to my, like, people I know in real life and have known since I was a teenager that often because I, like, I keep telling everybody on camera, I feel like I am drowning in things to do. I'm drowning in things to do. I can't hold it together like other people. I don't know how other people can get all of their housework done, all of their work done, and still chat all day long on their computer. But I can't. So I'm sorry, I will respond, but it won't be back and forth like you want. And I apologize, I just don't have the time. Thank you. I really need to learn not to care so much. <laughs> that incident with the guy is just bugging me. Oh, he said he was a doctor, and that he's been a doctor for 11 months, but he's going to retire soon so that he could start his own business, which I said was great goals and stuff, but I'm like, at first I was like, retire? And he's like, yeah, is there something wrong with that? I was like, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people retiring after only working 11 months. And he said, yeah, well, I need to retire so I can start my own business. And I was like, cool, those are great goals. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Uh-oh, I just went to click on my Facebook so I could ask my friend how his dad's doing and it said, out of memory, try refreshing the page. My computer is so full and I have to do stuff about it, but then that takes time away from video <laughs> and housework. Apparently the story of my life. <laughs> Apparently my email storage is almost and my computer storage is full. Thank goodness my boyfriend was such a sweetheart yesterday and set up his old computer for me, which is not that old and has tons of space on it, so that I can start doing my work on that computer since mine is so bloody full. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, my love. I should recharge my batteries again for my camera. I guess when you get a camera for like a fraction of the price that other ones like that go for, the battery dies quicker, but... That's sad. I'll get both the batteries charged because it came with two and see if I can figure out a way to set up my blog, my vlog, just hit my phone, <laughs> way I can set up my vlogging camera um, to do, to film my exercises. <laughs> I was finally able to clear some pictures. Let's see if I can record some video. It says I have a minute of recording. So I thought I'd update. I look creepy in the other camera. <laughs> Good luck watching that. Also doing some laundry while finishing my breakfast, even though it's like almost one o'clock. Oops, sorry, the Bella special is not a special of Bella Brains, it's of Kill Rumor. Mm -hmm. Still keeps telling me I have like no recording time. I currently have a minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> I keep working on deleting stuff, but then I record more stuff, so. Hey guys, I look like poo, cause I feel like poo. Um. I don't know if it's because we got to bed later or what, but my pill that I take at night, not the one I was calling about making me throw up, but the other one that I was taking before that. Um, I don't know, it's really affecting me. I woke up like four or something in the morning feeling like I was gonna throw up, but I luckily managed to avoid that. But I feel like a big bag of poo and look like it too. <laughs> Oh boy, um, yeah, I don't know what I'll be able to get done today, I have to do a video tomorrow, but I still have to transfer a crap ton of pictures because this only lets me get like two minutes of recording right now, <laughs> and I also have to finish editing my vlog from the week before so I could post it. <laughs> <sighs> Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Here's an Ellie. Ellie! Hi! Say hi to the nice people! You're a good girl. You're a good girl, Ellie. Alrighty, time to go into the... Oh, I guess I should put the... Ah! I'm gonna say time to go into the dryer and get 
look for exercise clothes, but I should just like. So my yoga app isn't working, but I have enough space to record like a teeny tiny bit of this video. <laughs> oh, it's working again, yay! Oh good, I can take really quick video. Um, my heart rate is 114, I haven't even started my yoga yet. That's crazy to me because my heart rate's usually between 52 and 76. I'm hoping to make tomorrow a busy vlog or vlog day. <laughs> I hope I can pull it off. I really need one. <laughs> this time I'm only a quarter of the way through my smoothie and I feel like I'm gonna hurl everywhere. I'm so tired of feeling sick. Like, really? <laughs> Yay, I finished my first round of editing on the vlog that I need to post. I just have to go through and do a second over and make sure that I got, or I add little things here and there. But I pieced it all together. <laughs> it's some mountains of stuff to do. I have so many pictures to transfer and get off, and videos to get off this phone so that I can vlog. This is allowing me, ooh, five minutes. Cool, I have five minutes of recording time. And I'm done the first pass of editing on the vlog. Should be up by tomorrow. I feel like I'm never getting dressed again because I always feel so sick lately that I just get in the shower late and before I know it, it's 3 or 3.30 and I'm like, screw it. I'm just gonna put pajamas on because I feel like crap and I just wanna be comfy. But day two of my, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Plan for becoming anti-inflammatory that will hopefully help fix me. I wonder what day three will hold. I was gonna stop taking my pill that I take at night, but my doctor's like, oh, maybe try putting it down to half a dose. So I guess I'm trying half a dose, see if that helps. But I'm also not just sick from the pill, I also have the fact that my thyroid has gone into hyperthyroidism. From medication. That makes me crazy. <laughs> and I'm gonna run out of film soon, so bye. Everybody says I'm weird about I'm weird for this, but what? <sighs> oh yeah, but does anybody else other than me find that when they are really sick to their stomach and they try to drink water, it makes them feel like they're going to vomit? Because I tell people that, and they're always like, that's so weird, that's so weird, that's so weird, that never happens to me, that's so weird. So I was just wondering if I'm actually the only one, and I'm that much of a weirdo. <laughs> Check out my long list for today, guys. Oh, man. And as usual, some of the things take hours. I never get through my whole list. <laughs> Does anybody get through their whole list? I don't know. I discovered yesterday that I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> you know those makeup sponges you buy? Well, I got one when I was doing those boxes and I got beauty boxes all the time. I got one in one of those boxes. I was like, oh cool, yay. So I used it. I like put the, what's it called? The liquid foundation. <laughs> onto the sponge and started putting it on my face. I was like, this sucks. Most of the makeup is getting on the sponge and not on my face. Until I watched an Olivia Jade video yesterday. It was actually posted this week. She posted it this week, so it was a current one. And she was doing makeup in it and I learned <laughs> that you're supposed to put your foundation on in streaks on your face and then take the sponge to like smooth it out and make it look natural. <laughs> I had no freaking clue. She also said something about if you have really dry skin that you should use something beforehand or else it will look like it's bumpy and cakey, which is the problem I was just talking about in the other week, that I stopped wearing the CC cream because it made my face look cakey. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So apparently it's good that I watch Olivia Jade. It's funny too, because you would think that I copied her, but I didn't. I just started watching her videos like a couple months ago, and back in the newbie reviews days, I had the intro like she does, the blowing of a kiss at the end like she does, except I do mine for probably complete, well, obviously a different reason than her because she wasn't alive. <laughs> 
for the reason I do it. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, and I'm wearing the peroxide gen hoodie I was looking for the other day. It was in the laundry and I washed it, so now I'm wearing it. Yay! Yay, peroxide gen! I need to find a fresh yoga top. I have fresh yoga pants, so I'm gonna have to put laundry away first thing. But I also need to transfer stuff first thing. <laughs> Look at my book first thing. I should do that before I run out of time to record. <laughs> How do I get all of my stuff so full? My computer's saying, too full! My email is saying, too full! My phone is saying, too full! How do I fill everything up? Is it like my pack rat tendencies? Am I pack ratting electronically or something? I don't get it! Okay, onto the book before I run out of time. Onto the book! Day three. Get smart. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this here and read it, okay. Choose smart goals as you transition to an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. Smart goals. Why is it in all caps? Oh, that is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time limited. These kinds of actions should be within your power to accomplish. For instance, a smart goal for anti-inflammatory eating might be, I will print the shopping list from this book and go to the grocery store on Sunday afternoon to purchase items I need for the week. Use today to reflect on your motivation for reducing chronic inflammation and write down your smart goals to help cement your commitment. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I will write those down. I sh I'll share them with you later. <laughs> Yay, Wednesday means Bella's podcast. Ew, I look so crappy. I'm so puffy and red. Ew. Trying to put my towel hamper back together. It got broken. <laughs> I filmed the whole thing, but as you know, I'm like running out of space. <laughs> I did it. Every time I think about it, I just know that I would be terrible at a podcast. Not only can I not interview, because I don't know how, but I am so emotional that people... Like, I was just listening to the Bella's podcast, and the stuff that Terry Crews was saying, oh my gosh, I just almost started to cry. So I'd be doing these interviews, and I'd be crying, and then the people listening would hear me again. <laughs> Yay! I found a top that actually fits, and I haven't seen it in a long time. It is actually in the second basket that I haven't looked at in a long time. I don't remember why. Anywho, I can now carry on with meditation and yoga after I put the laundry on. <laughs> Just about to yoga, and again, my heart rate is 116 before I've even done anything. It was TikTok. That guy that said that I have poor English and stuff and never talked to him again, it was TikTok. Because I was just going, I went to respond to a message and then I saw his message there. Yay! I found a full set of my old bedding when I had a double bed not that long ago. <laughs> and now that I found the full set, I can wash it and donate it. So I'm really excited about that. Getting rid of more stuff. I really need to uh <laughs> first I was warm so I just stayed like this but now I'm cold so I have to get a hoodie <laughs> I don't know if it's just weather in Canada or if it's because my thyroid is going haywire oh yeah it's on the dresser <laughs> I should have been making my breakfast <laughs> but I was transferring or delete well I already transferred the pictures I was going through because they're not in order and deleting the pictures off my phone after I make sure that they're on the computer. So I was doing that for way too long. <laughs> now, sometime I don't know because my boyfriend just texted. I think it's nine? I'm nine. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> eleven. I meant to say eleven. Mm -hmm. I almost threw up in the middle of making my smoothie, but I'm not even sure if it's because of the pills or because of my thyroid. <laughs> Please tell me if you think I'm annoying and I complain too much so I can change or work on changing. Thank you. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying really hard to get the last, the newest vlog, not newest, but the one that I've been working on up. And my program, my editing program keeps crashing. I'm so sorry, but I will get it up ASAP, I promise. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually done my shower before three o'clock. <laughs> sorry, it's just a rarity lately. It's two, well, two minutes to two. Yay me! Oh, there goes the eye. Ugh. 
<laughs> kind of want to go back to my homeopath, but I can't afford it. So I'm wondering, should I drop going to my osteopath? But she's helping though. Hmm. How do I get the extra whatever amount of money it is nowadays? Last time I went it was 71, but that was years ago, so I don't know. I just sent a message to my homeopath to find out what his current pricing is. Um, I just want to feel better. I know, I moan and cry about it way too much, but think of how much more exciting my vlogs would be if I actually went out. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is what I looked like in the summer. Oh my goodness, I look so much younger. I don't have those big lines going down here and here and here and here. I'd like to get back to what I looked like last summer. <laughs> Look guys, I'm actually wearing clothes. <laughs> I actually got dressed today. Yay! Ugh. I never opened that stuff. I should open that stuff. <laughs> I mentioned the other day that I had some packages that I hadn't opened yet. Oh my gosh, no matter what, this angle makes my legs look like they're like this big. <laughs> Wide. <Ugh. laughs> anyway. <laughs> I wanted to open it with you guys. I think I know what this is, but I'm not completely sure. Because I actually have... This is a CD, I know that, but I actually have two CDs that I'm waiting on. <laughs> I hope it's the one I think it is. <gasps> My favorite band, their very, 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 very first album that I've been trying to get since I was a teenager, but was unsuccessful. I found a copy of the tape for $200 but I didn't have the money and now recently in December they re-released their very very first 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 indie album and I am so excited. The Tea Party indie album I have it now and I get to listen to it all the time. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I got a little carried away. The other thing was the Sephora box with my birthday stuff. Oh no, did I put my address in again? <laughs> Yay, this is my birthday present. This is my wonderful birthday present from Sephora. I don't know how to pronounce it. Like Tatcha? Sephora Beauty Insider. I am so excited. There's a rinse wash, dewy skin cream, and liquid silk canvas. Oh, primer. oh my gosh, okay. I. I'm making a video of this, obviously, and I'm so excited, and it's purple! It's purple! And I ordered this because they said you'll get free shipping if you add this, so I added this little packet of makeup removal wipes because I need to remove my makeup when I wear it, which hopefully will be more <laughs> in the semi-near future. I mean, first step, getting dressed. <laughs> Next step, makeup. I have to wear makeup tomorrow though because I have to do a video tomorrow and I have to take some pictures as well for the video and for a couple other projects. It's Thursday morning and I feel like a ball of oh whatever. I don't know. I'm pretty happy though because it's getting lighter out in the morning. <laughs> so that means I get happier because there's less sad. <laughs> but also it's just nicer out once it starts getting lighter. There's sun, there's all this green. Spring is on its way and I'm excited. <laughs> so I'm just gonna change and change the litter box and I guess transfer some more pictures so I can keep recording. So I moved a bunch of files but it only gave me two minutes. So I'm just gonna stop what I'm doing and meditate. Oh my gosh, one of my new friends on my business, yes, once again, my business WhatsApp, the one where people are supposed to talk business. One's like, oh, I wanna be friends, blah, 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 talking about stuff, blah, blah, blah. Then last message, oh, can you please give me your bank account name? Because I have a large sum of money coming in and I don't have a Canadian account and I need somewhere to put it. I'm like, yeah, okay. So I'm like, I'm pretty sh I don't give a bank information. I'm pretty sure you can, set up a way to create an account for yourself in Canada. <sighs> Good luck! Hey guys, I'm trying
trying really hard to get my blog blog posted for you. <laughs> Tomorrow I but I'm really focusing on transferring. Tomorrow I'm going to try and get some stuff recorded for my appointment. At least give you a different scene. <laughs> One day my vlog will hopefully be more exciting for you guys. I figured out what I desperately need to do. I desperately need to get more organized. <laughs> hey guys, I'm not sure how much vlogging I'm going to get done today. I woke up feeling so incredibly sick that I could barely function. And I get to go to an appointment today too. I did it. I have a new vlog posted. Now I just have to make myself feel well enough to get into the shower. <laughs> There's a new one up, and then one day this one will be up. I hope you, I hope these aren't too incredibly boring. I'm doing my best. Going to my appointment, and it's yucky outside. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I just finished my meditation, and I'm going to start yoga. I got a plate, <laughs> so I'm behind. Some idiot woke me up banging garbage dumpsters. <laughs> it's Sunday. My boyfriend is sleeping. I'm going to do some meditation and yoga. This week has been kind of a bust for vlogging. <laughs> Went out yesterday and forgot to pull out the phone. <laughs> and yeah, maybe it'll be a good week to catch up. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good Ellie?